Welcome back. Well, we've been talking about CollectiveCon in town. It's a great opportunity for the whole family to get out there and meet some of your favorite, maybe Star Wars characters, maybe superheroes. And today we have with us Emily Swallow. You play the armorer in Mandalorian and so many other different parts like throughout your career. But one of the coolest things is that you're from Jacksonville. I am. So where'd you grow up around here? I grew up, well, um, my mom still lives over in the house where I grew up near the intersection of University and Atlantic, so sort of like South Side Arlington. Cool. Yeah. And then where'd you go to high school and stuff? I went to Stanton College Prep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. Now, one of the things I have to talk about before we talk about Collective Con, so uh, Mandalorian was a huge like movement, like everybody watched it, they were so into it, and then the book of Boba Fett came out, which became Mandalorian kind of part two. My Boba Fett Yeah, that's awesome, yeah. yeah. So the thing that's so unique, your character, has like an accent in there and like a very distinctive voice and then just like like the body positions that you have but meeting you in life like you're like all over the place high energy <laughs> they still yeah, yeah. So it'd be kind of weird like you want me to weld something for you, <laughs> you know what I mean? but it's, it's so cool how powerful of a person you play in that role so yeah, like yeah. where did that come from? Like was it like coaching? Was it what they wanted to do? Or was it how you perceived it to be? Uh, a little bit of everything. I mean, I, I went into the audition knowing very little because they're so secretive. Um, I, I didn't even know for sure like that it was Star Wars. They said it was probably Star Wars, but there was no information about, you know, the Mandalorian or yeah. anything like that, which was great because I didn't really have a chance to get nervous. Um, and I knew that she was masked, but I didn't do the audition, you know, with a paper bag over my head or anything. It was just me. Yeah. Um, but I did pay a lot more attention to my physicality because I knew I wouldn't be using my, my face as much if I did get the part. And they said she was this zen-like leader of a group of people that were in hiding. And so that told me she was probably pretty grounded and pretty still. Um, so I definitely used that. And then the accent just came because... Um, I guess they'd been seeing a lot of British actors for the role, so the casting director told me to do one of the takes uh, with an accent. And, wow. Yeah. That's really cool. And the thing is, it's a very important role, because I don't want to give any spoilers already, but there's not a lot of Mandalorian out there. You're one of very few, but also the most important person when it comes to like the religion or whatever you want to call it with that. She's sort of the keeper of the, yeah. the creed. So like it's yeah. a major thing, and I would imagine it's a pretty big Tasks like to fill those shoes. I guess so. Right? I because it, it, it's I a phenomenon. Like it totally, too it, it, no, yeah. it totally blew up. Because if it was done the wrong way, yeah. <laughs> it, it wouldn't be good for the entire franchise. You know, the real gift is that I I shot all of my work before the show was even announced. Right. So I had the gift of of not really knowing what I was getting into, which was great. Because and then, what about the buzz? Because like I feel like after the first episode, like this thing just blew up. Yeah. You know. So I just got to sit back and enjoy the ride because yeah. I I shot it all. You know, I knew who was involved. Well, I knew some of the people involved with it. I knew that John Favreau and Dave Filoni, you know, all the creators, and they're just tremendous to work with. They're so creatively brilliant, but they're also just, they're like the best sports coach you could ever have. They're such great team leaders. They're so gracious. They're so generous. Um, but I didn't even know most of the other actors that would be on the show because I only knew the people that I was in scenes with. Right. They were so secretive about it. So... I sort of got to enjoy it as a, a fan as well because as it was airing, I got to see who else was on the show with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's just, it's amazing too because I feel like as far as like Disney Plus goes, it really put that on the map because a lot of people had it and they weren't really watching it and then as soon as this happened, Mandalorian, it's like everybody started paying attention and it really launched all the Star Wars and now there's other things that are coming out yeah. that have just a lot of fuel behind the fire. So that has to be pretty remarkable when you think about that. It's incredible. Yeah. I, I pinch myself that I get to be a part of it. And then real quick, so CollectiveCon, obviously this weekend, people yes. can come and talk to you about your experience, right? Yes, absolutely. It's uh, Friday through Sunday at the Jacksonville Fairgrounds, and I welcome you to come by the table, come, there's panels happening, there's all sorts of special events, people are dressing up in cosplay, um, so you can come people watch, you can come talk to us, it's, it's gonna be fun. All right, well thank you so much. You know, it's kind of a little bit of a, a homecoming for you to come it back is, to Jacksonville. Yeah. So again, we're glad that you stopped by. I'm happy to be here, thanks. Thank you. Right now we're gonna send it to Eden.